Hey, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Mika for those who are new and around here we do a little keto eating or slash healthy eating. Um, and then we do a little enjoying life with our friends and our loved ones and just living life to the fullest. So uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining my channel today. As you can see by the title, we are gonna be doing a what I eat in the day on keto. So today is Friday. Um, it is a 9 15 in the morning and i am starting off my day i'm going to make me a cup of water detox water hold on let me get some ice real quick how to say and go y'all new year new me so i'm really trying to get up on my vitamins like do well with my vitamins this year so i'm trying to start my day off with a cup of water um while i go ahead and talk to you guys I got some lemons. I'm just gonna prepare. So I got some lemons here. I'm gonna put that in here. Too much ice. So I'm gonna add some lemons, add the ice back. And then I got a couple of cranberries, just loose cranberries if you can see them. And then um, mint, uh-oh mint leaves so i got two of those and i'm gonna add it to that and then i'm gonna go ahead and take a bottle of water and just get that poured in here and i'm putting it in my little starbucks cup and this just helps me to uh drink my water when it's in a fancy cup well this ain't really fancy but so all right, then I'm gonna start my day off with taking um, some vitamins. And the first vitamin that I got here is this uh, Good Zymes. It's for, um, it's a multi-enzyme digestive aid. So it's supposed to help with your digest, a digestive function, boost nutrient availability, and soothe occasional discomfort. Mm. So my mom gave me this. I think she was like part of the like some product or something. I said, okay, helps break down. Okay, I'll say it helps break down and digest proteins, carbohydrates, dairy, fats, sugars, starches, cellulose, beans, and fibers. It's a nutrient boost and it helps increase nutrient availability and accessibility during digestion. All right, and then also is a soothing relief, so it helps relieve and prevent occasional glass, glass, gas, bloating, and indigestion. And you know what? I started taking these on Monday, and really, I have not felt bloated at all. So yeah, it probably worked. But they're called Good Zines. I don't know if you can get them anywhere, or I don't know. My mom gave them to me. She was like in this. Uh, I don't know. I want to say like a pyramid scheme and they were selling it, I guess. So I'm gonna start off with that. That's my first vitamin. Here's what it looks like. It's just a capsule. If you have a hard time taking um, pills or anything, then I would suggest you always know that with capsule pills, you can open them up and you can actually mix it in there too, so. I don't have a hard time with pills, but. Then I got a probiotic. This is just a probiotic, generic probiotic from uh, Walgreens. If you are for female, I suggest that you take your probiotics. They are very good for you. They help with your pH balance and getting things in order, but it's also in a capsule form, but you can get these pretty much anywhere. If you can see it. There we go. Um, you can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, and I just got the generic brand. Sorry, you guys, my dog's bark. Papa, hush. Then last but not least, I wanna do some organic apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna take a shot of this. Usually I add it into my water, but I'm gonna try to 
boost things up. And I got a like an old medicine cup here. And I don't even know how much you're supposed to take. People usually say that they take like capfuls of it or whatever. So, and this goes up to um the lighting is messing up like the focus on everything so i'm trying to block it so you can uh see it but it's the lighting in the background so it's not focusing but um this goes up to 15 i'm gonna do like i don't know i ain't gonna do no 15 15 um ml so i did like seven because i'm a little maybe eight i'm a little under 10 if you guys can see so let's try this. Ooh. Strong, but not bad. A lot of people I know can't take the apple cider. So I know a lot of people do the uh, goalie or I don't know, G-O-L-I, those vitamins. Um, I can put it in my water and take it. I don't need the, the gummies to do it. It was strong, but like I said, it wasn't bad. It reminds me of eating crabs because I eat crabs with uh, vinegar. So that's what it actually reminded me of, eating crabs. So now I want some crabs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my coffee because of course that's the first thing that I always try to start my morning off with. So I got my little coffee mug here. This is Hustle Juice. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Got some coffee and usually I take two scoops of my coffee and as you can see, I'm running out. So I need to go to the store and get some more. I like going to like Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that and looking for the coffee um, versus going to like Walmart and stuff like that. And just seeing different type of coffees that people have. I use one and a half of these scoops. Um, one and a half or two, it just depends on how I feel. But tell me you guys, what type of coffee do y'all use at home? Leave that down below. Cause I definitely wanna try out new coffees. I love coffee. So I like, and I feel like Burlington and them, they have like way more options. Not more options for but more options that you won't find in a normal grocery store so that's why i like going there so and then i'll put two squirts of my sugar-free vanilla inside my cup and i'm gonna just go ahead and get that brewing and started all right and like i was telling you guys today is friday friday is the weekend is usually my hardest time to actually start my keto to maintain to maintain and keep consistent on keto because i get the weekend and it's just like mm, you don't want to cook um so you're going to quick foods and you want to go chinese or you know like you want your comfort foods and stuff like that so this weekend i am really focused on sticking to my plan so i am going to cook today i just decided that i'm not going to cook a full-blown like dinner dinner or whatever i'm just going to do a very very dirty keto meal um when it comes to dinner i'm going to have a pizza wings and a salad so that is what i'm going to cook and i feel like it's going to give me that feeling of having comfort food for the weekend but it's still going to be keto so of course i'm going to show you guys what i eat throughout the whole day i'm probably going to do it a little bit of a vlog style right now like i said it was nine in the morning um about to be 9 30 now and i'm just going to go ahead get my coffee brewing and get back to work um, until it is time for me to eat my first meal. Also, I did wanna let you guys know that I am intermittent fasting. So I stopped eating at five o'clock at night. And because I have to be to work at four o'clock in the morning, that's why I stopped eating so early. I was doing intermittent fasting before, but I was like, my last meal sometimes was until eight till nine. And being up that early in the morning and not being able to eat till like 12, one o'clock, it was so hard for me. It was like the biggest struggle. So I 
actually was failing more than I was succeeding at it. So I decided to cut, do my cutoff time earlier, actually get into a routine um, and focus more on staying in that routine basically um, when it does come to my eating and doing mindful eating. So last night I stopped eating at five and I actually had dessert too before five and got in the bed and I wasn't even hungry so I actually, it it worked for me so this has been working i've been doing it now since monday and it has been working for me um better with doing that cutoff early so at nine o'clock it became my 16 hours so i can't eat usually what i do when i intermittent intermittent fast um i don't do it the normal way people do so sorry i at least get to 12 hours and then at the 12 hour mark i'll have coffee if i'm if i'm feeling hungry or anything like that so i'll at least have my coffee and i know you're not supposed to have coffee because you're not supposed to have any sugars or calories you know like that will break your fast but I still will not eat any solid food until I reach my 16 hour mark but since I have changed my times I'm able to actually go the whole 16 and not even have coffee so um and it's pretty much working I feel like I'm losing like a pound a day I didn't get on the scale today because um I don't want to be a obsessed over the scale and making sure that it's going down because we all know your body weight fluctuates. It goes up and down constantly. So I just didn't get on the scale today. Um, I'll probably get back on there Monday just to make sure that I did maintain at least or and I didn't go up. But that's my coffee being done if you hear that beeping. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and like I said, cut this off now get back to work and i'll see you guys later when i do something else or when it's time for me to eat a lunch all right see you guys later all right so here is my first meal of the day i have some bacon and yes i know it's not as crispy as most people would prefer but i like this just as well I have two scrambled eggs and a beef hot dog that i made in the air fryer all right, so it is 4.15. I am running behind on time because I got off work late. And so I am getting a little bit hungry because at this time I would have been starting to eat my dinner, but now I'm just starting to cook my dinner. So I'm gonna make me a little slim fast shake in the meantime. Um, and what I need for this is just this slim, slim fast powder. And then I have some silk almond and I have the unsweetened vanilla um, kind. So I'll use eight ounces of the milk and then I will use um, just one scoop of the powder. Now the powder itself, I believe it is for one scoop, it is um, five net carbs and then it has 20 grams of protein in it. So it's a pretty fulfilling shake and I like it. Um, you can use it with water too, but I prefer to add the almond milk in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in one of those blender shaker cups with that little ball that you just saw. Shake it up and I'll have this as a snack while I'm cooking my dinner. dinner like I said earlier it's gonna be like a super um I don't even know how to explain it um I forgot what I said comfort like a comfort food dinner for me um you know gives you the whole weekend vibe so I am having one of these quest thin crust pizzas and I got supreme the macros on this is pretty good um as you can see it is well, I don't know if you can see it, but it says five met carbs for a serving size. And the serving size is one third of the pizza. Then it has 20 grams of protein and it is gluten free. And so Hi. I've had this before Hi. and it is pretty good. 
you gotta put it up against that Braylon's building a gingerbread house. I forgot all about it, so we're out. Excuse me, we're building it now, so she's doing it. Um, yep, put it next to that. Okay, and then we're gonna have these wings. Asian, the Asian, um, what are these called? Asian style seven spice dry rub. I get these from Walmart. Love these things. I don't know. I think I've cooked these one time before for you guys, and I just place these in my air fryer. Now with these wings, they are oh, no. not the best. It's They're so dumb. it's okay. Try it again. Um, it's 11 carbs um per serving size, and the serving size is three ounces. So they are not the best. And I believe actually the carbs come from the spice that's in it. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on now. I ain't seen that. Why is this different? Hold on y'all, I'm reading. So I don't understand why they have that nine four. Protein for. I don't know. They got something down at the bottom that says it's four carbs. And it has nine grams of fat and uh, four protein. So it says calories per gram. I don't know what that's about. I, I guess that's it if you use it. Yes. That's it if you use it without the... Oh my God, I'm not even focused. Sorry, you guys. That's it if you use it without the seasoning. So without the seasoning um, on it, it is four carbs per serving size and the serving size is three ounces. So you can add your own seasoning. I can eat these with the seasoning. I can eat them without the seasoning. It is fine to me, but I just place them in the air fryer. Quick, easy, easy, easy dinner. And then I'm gonna have a salad to go along with it. Um, today is just like, it's raining outside. It's just a lazy, lazy, lazy Friday. So I'm doing the best that I can, you guys. Everything to stop me from actually getting on the couch and just going to sleep for the rest of the night. But let me go ahead and eat this. I have my pizza in the oven now. I will come back when my um, dinner is ready and I am ready to eat. All right, you guys, see you later. All right, so here is dinner. I got my salad with the Italian dressing. Got a little pizza here. I added extra cheese on it. Left in the oven a little bit too long, but whatever. It's going to taste good. Got my wings here, and yes, I did add the Asian zing on top of it. That little seasoning pack. And then I have a little dab of ranch dressing right here. But this is going to be dinner for the night. Thank you guys so much for following me on what I eat. This is just realistic what I eat in a day. Um, I did not eat much today. I was busy at work. And I think the time just got away from me. It's 5.15 now. I got off later than expected. Um, and I'm just tired. So here is to a lazy Friday and how I eat on lazy days when I gotta push myself because honestly, I would choose bed over food right now. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.